규지훈 씨, 안녕하세요. 축하합니다. 네, 안녕하세요. 네, 안녕하세요. <웃음> so I'm Rick Hong of Hollywood First Look, and yes, I'm Korean, but I primarily speak English. So I might be doing a little bit of back and forth. 필리핀 은퇴가 이제 영원히 구시대의 것이 되었다고 저희 생명 공학 기업 BF가 함께 이뤄낸 쾌거입니다. 1차 산업을 건드렸으니까 각오했어요 시작할 때. BF에서 경호원을 뽑을 거야. 가서 신봉이 돼. 다음 대장이 BF여야 합니까? 대표님. 이참에 전담 경호원을 주죠. 성과에서 떨어지시겠어요? BF 대표 인재 다수의 살해 의혹을 받고 있다. In America, you know, like obviously behind him it says blood free, but in Korean it says Jibae Jong. And funny enough, I went on to Papago, and Papago actually doesn't say what Jibae Jong actually means about the species. It actually told me in control. So I was just wondering what he thought of the title for the like, for as they did the rollout for America and the and the world. I think it has a double meaning. Um, obviously, it's different from the Korean title, but and I don't know about the American culture or how you are how you respond to the word blood. But in Korea, there's a lot of meaning that that uh, there's there's a very strong connotation with the word blood, right? Um, and I thought that the title "blood free" it kind of meant that you are free from the reins of all of the meaning that the word blood has. You know, we talk about things being rooted in your DNA, things being an instinct, and this time around, we're talking about eating and. and consumption of food. And so I think the title holds this meaning of doing away with or escaping from what you were originally really tied to. Yeah, and in a way, you know, that we use this expression in Korea where it's written in your blood, or sometimes we say it's written in your bones, right? So I thought personally, on a personal level, that it had this connotation of being away with or, or being free from your instincts. How did you like the physicality of this character, some of the action scenes. I'm not sure how familiar you are with the X-Men movies or the comic book, but there is a sequence where you're dressed in black, you have the glasses on, you feel very much like the Cyclops character in those comics, and then you go into a room that's kind of a virtual reality, and it felt like the danger room. So I was wondering for you how it was to kind of shoot that scene and get ready and prepare for it. Yeah, I'm very well aware and a personal big fan of, you know, X-Men and comics and the comic culture in general, and I've seen all of the films. And I think it was because I was exposed to those looks previously through that kind of content that I kind of was familiar with the overall vibe of that scene. It was the first time I was wearing that kind of costume um, and the first time I was doing something like that. But because I was familiar with it, I think I felt a little less shy thanks to that. But honestly, it still made me feel very shy. Something that I was not expecting kind of happened between episodes four and five, the action sequence outside, the car crash, the shooting of the guns, you getting shot with the squibs and the blood spraying all over. So I was wondering how it was like getting ready for that episode, episodes and doing those scenes. Oh, it doesn't. Well, based on the structure of the entire narrative, that action scene was something that really needed scale. And obviously, budgets are, tend to be limited. And so, uh, you know, I had a lot of conversations with the director, the DOP, and the stunt coordinator, and everyone on the set about how do we maximize the impact with that scene. And hopefully we, we did a great job, uh, but it's up for the audience to decide. And to add to that, you know, at the end of the day, that action scene, it was not something that was shot for the sake of having an action impact scene. It was more to highlight and sort of hint at the dynamics between the two characters, Taeyu and Taeun. So I personally hope that that would be something that would uh, that can be more strongly conveyed through the action. That day, it looks like it's cold outside, very physical, I know probably taxing on you. But then the next episode, you're you've been shot up. So your character is now in a chamber. So you just kind of have to lay there for a while. So I don't know which scene you like better, or just having to be in a chamber doing nothing or like being outside and being cold. 
For me, it's so much better to be up and about and just be there doing the action because even though it seems like an instant, the scene where I'm just laying there very still, if you shoot something like that days on end, it's not really a chill kind of vibe that you get from it. Just try to lay on your back for 10 minutes while everybody around you is up and running and just very busy. It, you, it's, it's not something that's very pleasurable. And finally, you know, because there's a lot of technology involved in this and you're an actor, you're on practical sets. So I was wondering how you like seeing all the CGI kind of put in the stuff that you kind of had to imagine initially on set. And you finally get to see, oh, OK, this is the kind of stuff that I had to picture what was going on or when you were in the chamber, the surgery that was happening to you. While we're actors really working physically on the set, when I get to see the final cut with all of the edits and CGI and music on top of that as well, it always fascinates me. So, I mean, if you think about it, it's quite funny because I was the one in the scene acting, but every time I watch the final cut, it's always very new and just very entertaining.